just left and Walter Kovacs died that night with that little girl. From then on, there was only Rorschach. This is Jackie Earl Haley, former child actor, Oscar-nominated performer, and major character in the upcoming Dark Tower series. In recent years, he's played lots of memorable creepy or evil roles, which will definitely work to his advantage in the Dark Tower, since his character is part of the Cantoy, or Low Men, a villainous group of humanoid creatures in the Dark Tower series and other Stephen King stories, most notably Hearts in Atlantis. But Jackie's characters weren't always disturbing. He grew up in the industry as a child actor, appearing in commercials as early as four years old, and was in his first feature film, The Outside Man, by the age of nine. Ah, uh, the captain will get out of it, he always does. Throughout the 70s, Jackie guest starred on some major TV shows like The Partridge Family and Planet of the Apes. Then in 1976, he played Rebel Kelly Leak in The Bad News Bears, a film about a misfit Little League team. You live around here? I got a Harley Davidson. Does that turn you on, Harley Davidson? The success of this role not only led to Jackie playing the same character twice more in two subsequent sequels, but also to similar misfit characters, whether he was a bully in the show Wiz Kids, the classic teenager hell-bent on losing his virginity in Losing It, or something a little more nuanced, like one of four 19-year-olds trying to figure out what they're gonna do with their lives in Breaking Away. Despite the apparent success, Jackie told the LA Times in 2006 that making the transition from a child actor to an adult actor was tough. So right around the early 90s, Jackie quit acting for a while. He moved to Texas and found success directing and producing commercials until Sean Penn recommended he get back into acting. Jackie did, and his first year back into the fray, he delivered phenomenal performances in two films, a bodyguard in All the King's Men and a sex offender in Little Children, which earned him an Oscar nomination. Since 2006, he's just been awesome. Rorschach and Watchmen, Freddy Krueger and the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street, you got Shutter Island, Lincoln, Robocop, Preacher, The Tick, and now The Dark Tower. I'm sure Jackie's great behind the camera, but I think I speak for everyone when I say, it's been good to have you back, Jackie, and please don't stop creeping us out anytime soon.